All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a post trailer predictions video for what I think we're going to see in the first half of The Walking Dead season seven. Right, so spoiler warning, if you haven't seen the trailer, I'll put the link in the description for you guys so you can go ahead and check it out yourselves. So I intended on doing this one uh, earlier already, but uh, we're just doing so many different things, so much stuff coming out and that, making a lot of different videos that it got a little bit pushed back, but uh, just realized, hey, I haven't done that video yet. Definitely want to do it, and uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it. And you guys can also write your... Uh, predictions below uh, now that we've seen the trailer for what you think is going to happen in the first half of The Walking Dead Season 7. So it's a decent trailer this year. Uh, still, like I said in the videos, I think Season 6 is trailer probably the best, but this one was good too. And uh, so the first half of the trailer, there's useless pretty much for in terms of predictions. I mean, there's nothing in it. In terms of the Negan kill, the Negan death, uh, what I'll say is, without getting into spoilers or anything like that, there is the double death rumor that's circulating online. I think it's correct, uh, personally. Um, it sounds legit to me. It sounds correct. We'll see if it is. Um, and I won't get into into this video who the victims are of that, uh, you know, of, of the Negan kill because I don't want to get into the, the spoiler territory and, you know, upset anybody, that kind of deal. But those of you who are privy to the double death spoiler kind of rumor that's out there right now, um, I think it's right. I really do. I, I just, to keep it simple for you, I think that's who it is. I, I think it is correct. And, you know, a lot of us knew, like, when they showed the, you know, the finale, we're like, people are going to know this before. Someone's going to figure this out before the season. And uh, to me, it sounds like they have. To me, it sounds like it's it's gotten out there anyway, even though AMC didn't want it to. So I think that's correct. I think the double death in the premiere should be pretty big to see. Not one, but two huge character deaths in the premiere for The Walking Dead Season 7 should be really big. So, of course, after that stuff is happening, it looks like from the trailer, unlike the comic book series version, Rick and the group, it does not seem like they're going to go to the hilltop right away, or at least... If they do, there's some other stuff going on because we can see in the trailer that the hilltop is attacked by the saviors. So we know that the saviors are going to go there. Stephen Ogg is going to lead uh, that group, it looks like. He seems to be Negan's number two right now. And we'll see if when we get to see more behind uh, Negan's perspective and the saviors, if he is in fact the number two. But right now, Stephen Ogg's character, who is unnamed currently, Looks like he is Negan's, uh, you know, number one guy, his, uh, his his right hand man, so to speak, and he is uh, enforcing uh, the rules that uh, the saviors have that Negan comes up with. So it looks like he goes to the hilltop to smash the place up, to hang a few people, to shoot a, pe a few people, to teach Gregory a lesson, and um, it looks like it's going to turn out to be uh, pretty brutal. So I'm thinking we're going to see that in the premiere. Now somehow Rick and the others are still going to want to get Maggie help um so maybe they'll end up somehow trying to go there anyway who knows what will happen with that and somehow either I, i'm assuming maggie's going to make it i'm assuming maggie's going to survive and then eventually after that however that all works out which is still we have no idea right now um you know they'll they'll eventually end up back at alexandria so and we've seen the preview from uh in the trailer where negan's knocking it looks to me like that's alexandria it looks to me like he's knocking at alexandria so it looks like in the premiere or at the latest second episode probably the premiere for season seven negan and the savers are going to not only attack the hilltop but also go visit rick and uh, the group at alexandria and uh, probably come to get their first uh, offering of stuff and it should lead to be a pretty exciting season because Rick and the group were already short on supplies already. They took a lot from the hilltop. The hilltop had given up quite a bit. And now the saviors are probably going to come and try to take you know, a good portion of what Rick and uh, the group at Alexandria actually have. And now it's it's life or death. And also you might, they, that'd be an uh, interesting storyline they could explore is what is Rick and the group going to do when Negan and the others, the saviors, come and take from Alexandria. And they don't have that much to give. So, um yeah, that should be good. So that'll probably appear in the premiere, and it'll be good to see how Rick and the group, you know, how they handle Negan coming to visit when they don't have much of a choice. They kind of have to bend the knee, so to speak. But at the same time, they're like, F this dude, because he just smashed uh, maybe, at least one, maybe two, if the if the prediction is correct, uh, for, um, you know, the premiere. So that should, be, that should be pretty crazy, just seeing the animosity between the two and how they play off each other. Maybe Negan drinking some lemonade, that kind of stuff, with, uh, with Olivia. So that should be good. So... It looks like also somehow related to the attack on the hilltop that Jesus is going to follow, just like in the comic books, 
um, Dwight, it looks like that, back to uh, the Savior's location, their factory, so to speak, wherever they wherever they reside. He's going to try to find out where it is and then maybe give that information to Rick. And it'll be interesting in the TV series to see if Jesus knows about the kingdom yet because we're just finding out about it as viewers and he hasn't mentioned anything about it yet, but he may know about the kingdom and where it is, of course, which brings in uh, Morgan and Carol and Ezekiel and the tiger. And that, it looks like, will probably be after a couple episodes, so maybe around like episode three, episode four, or maybe just a glimpse of that in the premiere in a little part. But it looks like they're going to split it up pretty good. And I wouldn't be surprised if the first half of season seven, because it's so split up and you have different concentrations, if it goes fast and if it doesn't cover that much of the um, the comic book storyline because in season six as we went through the first half we had a lot of different groups we had the zombie herd coming even with extended episodes with you know they, they added in the Morgan flashback and that they still didn't cover that much ground in the first six episodes I want to say in retrospect if you compare it to the the comic book series I mean they did because they end where uh, no way out uh, you know comes in but uh, you know and then no way out was the next episode but that episode by itself no way out covered a ton of stuff so uh, it depends on the pacing but it looks like to this one this one is going to be separated up pretty good we've got a lot of characters and so uh, they should be able to fill it out pretty good but there's definitely looks like going to be some comic book stuff uh, mixed in there as well too including of course an Egan kill and uh, Jesus is finding out where the um, uh, the sanctuary is and then probably going to Rick with that information because he's so uh, sneaky and everything and then telling him, hey, I know where the saviors are at. I know what's going on. And maybe I should introduce you to Ezekiel. So we'll see if he does that. And then, um, you know, Rick somehow goes to the kingdom or something a few episodes in, like episode four or five or something, and meets with... Um, you know, Ezekiel and the others. And then it looks like Tara and Heath are off for a while. So they might be coming back around the mid-season finale type mark. And I'm I'm thinking, and people have asked me this in the comments, Trev, what do you see? What do you think for the mid-season finale? I think the mid-season finale will probably be Rick and the group fighting back against uh, Negan a little bit and then having something happen with that, um, you know, and, and some action in that. And then uh, maybe, uh, you know, like just getting started, kind of just... The march to war, getting started with the war about halfway through. So I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be, um, you know, that would that would sound good to me. But if they don't add in quite a bit of stuff, we could get into all out war at the second half of season seven. And to me, it sounds more like there's probably enough there for them to fill that out a bit, give us some backstory on Dwight, give us some backstory on, you know, get to see his perspective, get to see. Uh, Tara and Heath and have their own time get to see the kingdom and maybe even spend a whole episode there would not surprise me with Carol and uh, and Morgan and they could really space it out quite a bit and um you know, find a way to extend that. Also, of course, you got Daryl, who um, you know, uh, there's some spoilers on this that he may be taken back to the, um, the the sanctuary. And if he is, then yeah, you know, you think that maybe maybe they'll you know we'll get some part of his storyline there. We'll see him maybe in some trouble, maybe tortured, this kind of thing. Um, so it should be pretty exciting to see what happens with that and how this all kind of uh, sorts itself out. And uh, you know, what deaths there are on the mid-season finale time is probably most exciting for me. And what we're leading into. You you know this uh, this season. So in terms of uh, just predictions for the first half, I'm thinking it's going to be it should be great. It should be um, you know really uh, split up and uh, you know focusing on a lot of different groups, a lot of different characters now more than we've had in the past before. And it might start feeling a little bit more like Game of Thrones. I know some people hate it when I bring up Game of Thrones and Walking Dead videos, but it really feels that way. The world is bigger. You have different locations and you have different groups off doing their own thing, which we got to see more in season six than prior seasons, where for example it would always focus on Rick. And and the group, and they're always together, pretty much. There's a run, a couple go off, but most of the time it's Rick and the group, and they're, they're centralized. Now the story, it seems like, with a larger world, you're getting to see... Uh, different episodes focusing on different characters, different characters getting their time, and a really uh, a more uh, worldly type of story, a more universal type story spread out and not just, uh, in terms of point of view, not just focused on Rick anymore, but focused on the different you know characters. You have some time with Dwight. You have some time with Daryl. He's wherever he is. You got some time with Morgan and Carol, and then you go to Ezekiel, and then you go back, and, and it really allows for them to really uh, you know use that comic book storyline and, uh, and extend it. So I'm, I'm thinking the first half of Season 7 should be great. It's going to be a great lead-in. We're, we're starting off kind of a new story with Negan. I think the premiere should be crazy. But then after that, I think it's going to be, you know, not insane Walking Dead until we get to All Out War, which should be likely in the second half of either Season 7 later on or sometime around there. And uh, then Season 8 with All Out War probably going down as the best season of The Walking Dead ever. So that's the one to watch out for. 
Also, the season eight premiere is episode one hundred, so I think that's that's the big one to wait for. But the, the first half of season seven should be great too. Walking Dead's always good, so it should be awesome all the way through. So those are pretty much my predictions for the first half. That's what I think is going to happen. That's what I think it looks like, and what we're going to see, and uh, some skirmishes, maybe some back and forth stuff with Rick and the others, and then uh, eventually the the big time all out war starting once the kingdom sides with Alexandria, sides with the hilltop because they've been hurt now and attacked, and they all join forces together against Negan and the Saviors. We're looking at build-up for that this season, I think. I think the first half is our build-up, getting ready for uh, the most epic uh, part in The Walking Dead story so far, All Out War, probably Season 8. That's it for this one, guys. If you liked it, and also write your predictions below, too. What what do you think we're going to see, guys? Which episodes are which? And... um, for the double death spoiler, try to keep it to yourself. That's cool, you know. If you if you know it, that's cool. Try to keep it out of comments for other people because a lot of people don't want to know. Um, but write your predictions below uh, that aren't, you know, too spoilery. Like character death stuff is is a lot of people don't want to know that. People probably won't care much about. Okay, Daryl's probably got the storyline. We don't know for sure. Probably, that's not you know. It's not like anyone's. Oh man, what the hell? I didn't want to know that. No, but. The major character death uh, is, is pretty big, so try to keep that to yourself if you can. And, as usual, send me your questions for the Q&A, guys. If you like this video, don't forget, guys, always appreciate it, always need those. Please thumb it up below. Also, if you have a Facebook you want to share through, click the Share tool and then click for Facebook. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. We'll see you again real soon. Subscribe if you're new to the bottom left. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See ya. You better subscribe.